Hello everyone, welcome back to Dentistry Made Easy. Earlier, we have seen two to three topics from complete denture series. So today's video is another topic from the same series, which by far is one of the most important topic from complete denture, that is theories of impression making. Today, we are going to discuss about such one theory of impression making. And in subsequent videos, we'll see about the others. The theory that I'm going to talk about in today's video is known as mucostatic theory. So muco, it means mucosa. And static is when you are saying that something is at rest or is not moving. That means it is a static like object or static position. So mucostatic theory basically in simpler term is you are recording the impression when mucosa is at rest which means you don't apply pressure while taking the impression so this theory is also known as passive theory why because you are not going to do any movements as such to the mucosa or it is also known as non pressure theory as we have already said in the name only saying that you are not applying any pressure and you are recording the impression at rest position of the mucosa so that is non pressure but now just think about it. Is it practically possible to record the impression with like 0% pressure? Obviously not. So in a better way, we can term it as a minimal pressure theory. This theory, it is proposed by Richardson, but at that time it was not that much popularized. So it was popularized by Henry Page in 1938. So this theory, it is based on the Pascal's law. Now long back, we have seen what this Pascal's law was in physics that was under the fluid dynamics. And I'm pretty sure many don't remember what this law is because even when I was reading this topic back in my final year, I was totally blank about it. So I'll just give you a flashback of what this Pascal's law was. So the law, it states that whenever pressure is applied to the confined incompressible fluid so that pressure it is transmitted equally in all direction throughout the fluid now this is quite confusing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to like simplify this pascal's law so over here this is the pictoric form of the pascal's law so here is your confined liquid now these are the most two important terms when you are seeing about the pascal's law that is confined liquid and incompressible liquid now why i am saying about confined and incompressible so confined basically is nothing but when it is restricted or it is limited to that particular area or it is enclosed and incompressible as the name says it cannot be compressed so when you apply pressure at any point like anywhere over such confined liquid now over here you are applying pressure at this upward direction for example on this liquid so according to this law if you are following this pascal's law it is said that such pressure will be transmitted in all direction so that is nothing but the pascal's law we are going to apply this law for this particular theory with this diagram with this particular diagram when you are comparing it in the terms of denture now you have made a denture following the mucostatic theory now, according to this concept, mucosa is mostly made up of fluid. That is 80% of mucosa is made up of fluid, which will act like that confined liquid, which we have seen earlier. So this is the denture over here. And there is the liquid which is present underneath the denture. That is your tissue fluid, which is present under the denture. Now, when you are applying forces to this denture, so according to the Pascal's law, what we have seen, even if you are applying pressure on one point, the forces are getting transmitted all around the surface area and because of which the stability is increased. So this is in simple term what exactly mucostatic theory is and how it works. I have also written that the forces on the denture, they are counteracted by the buoyancy of the tissue. Now what do you mean by buoyancy? So buoyancy is nothing but it is the upward force which is exerted by the liquid 
on the object over here your object is the denture and liquid is the tissue fluid so the fluid it will apply certain pressure on your object so now when you are applying forces from down portion and your tissue it is going to apply pressure from upwards so that will be counteracted so they will just nullify each other and because of which the forces are distributed properly and by that the stability is increased in this theory as we said that impression is recorded in the resting state so in this the impression it is made in an oversized impression tray which will have spacers so that when we pour the cast out of that impression you will have a proper space where the denture in return don't apply pressure on the tissue and it is made with low viscosity materials like impression plaster agar zinc oxide eugenol alginate or impression wax but now in this the material of choice is impression plaster so impression plaster is the material of choice for mucostatic theory and the space which is present between the mucosa and the tray is 3 to 5 mm now in this technique we don't do border molding due to which the flanges they are usually shorter when you're comparing it with other techniques now if you don't like involve border molding so due to that there will be lack of peripheral seal in this theory they have said that the metal based dentures can be used rather than using the acrylic denture bases so this theory it is best termed as minimal pressure theory as i have discussed about it earlier that it is impossible to record the mucosa without pressure now what are the advantages and disadvantages of this particular theory so advantages are it will cause less trauma to the tissue why because you are applying no pressure on it or you can say you are applying very minimal pressure on it so because of that this particular theory it can be used in cases where the ridge is sharp or it is thin or it is a flat flabby ridge so in such cases you can use this mucostatic theory the next advantage is there is decreased chance of residual ridge resorption so when the pressure intensity is more onto the ridge there are more chances of residual ridge resorption but now in this as we are applying minimal pressure so the chances of ridge resorption is also decrease so these are the advantage and what are the disadvantages now in this the first disadvantage is poor retention so this principle it is considering only one such like principle of retention that is the interfacial surface tension now what do you mean by interfacial surface tension so for example now you are taking two glass slab the normal glass slab that we are using in prosthetic department and even you can see it practically like just take two glass slabs and have water between this glass slab so you will see that this glass slab they are unable to get separated because of that interfacial surface tension and due to which you need to just slide the glass slab to separate it so it becomes very difficult to separate such glass slab which has water between two glass slabs now this interfacial surface tension it is attained by the tissue fluid and because of that it is considering only one such principle of retention now what are the different principles of impression making what are like the factors which affects retention everything we are going to cover later on there are multiple factors for retention and interfacial surface tension is one of it so this theory is considering only one such like factor of retention because of which the retention in this particular theory will be less next disadvantage is it has inadequate support now why i am saying this you need to understand that the tissues they are not uniformly displaceable so some area they will be firm and they will displace less whereas some area of mucosa they will displace more so because of that the areas which are firm it will have greater part of pressure or it will have more support and the areas which displace more they will have less support because of this only there will be inadequate support when you are taking impression with this mucostatic theory so in short we can say that firmness or if the tissue is less displaceable it is inversely proportional to the support if it is less displaceable it will have more support if it is more displaceable then it will have less support 
so in this dentures you will see that the dentures they are very good adapted dentures but the peripheral seal is poor as we are skipping the border molding stage thereby in this particular theory you will definitely have very good stability but you will compromise on the retention and the support now the next disadvantage is so this theory it assumes that the tissue fluid it is acting like confined liquid but in reality if you see it practically there is no such way the next disadvantage is it derives maximum coverage of the denture within the physiologic limit there's one more disadvantage to this particular theory that is now according to this principle the impression material it should record without distorting the mucosa every detail of mucosa so that the complete denture it would fit all minute elevations and depressions of the mucosa but now again mucosa is not static or it is not at rest like for 24 hours so there will be difference in the position which thereby will alter this details so that was all about this particular theory i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much